Good morning. Today is the day I try to summit Mount Whitney, and I managed to uh, go through the night mostly dry. I'm airing out my sleeping bag on the ranger's porch, <laughs> and right now, because my tent uses trekking poles to set up, and I need my trekking poles for hiking, I'm going to try and replace the poles with these sticks and hopefully my tent will air out during the day. Okay, we're starting to go up. Look at that mountain. We're at Guitar Lake. We are definitely in Middle Earth now. Look at that. Currently at 12,200 feet. At 13,000 feet now. Don't look down. That's the summit right up there. Another mile and a half to go. Well, the summit's somewhere in those clouds. It just dropped to 44 degrees. And we got tiny little bits of hail. Great. And just like that, the summit cleared up again. Crazy how the weather changes so fast. And I can't see a thing. <laughs> Ooh. 
14,508 feet. And wouldn't you know it, I had T-Mobile service. So I sent some messages, called my mom, left her message, called my dad, spoke with him. Kaylee, I love you. Sent you a voicemail as well. And uh, this feels really good. Really good. I don't care. I can't see a thing. I got a little emotional coming here at the top. Really proud of myself. Oh, you're a chubby looking bird. So here I am at the hut at the top. This is to protect you from lightning. Everyone writes their names on the rocks. So this is where you sign your name that you made it to the top. Would you look at that? It actually cleared up. All right, making my way down Mount Whitney. This has been an absolute highlight of my trip so far. And it's starting to clear up, which is good. Definitely don't come on this hike if you're afraid of heights. Whew, that was a doozy. It's hailing again. Mount Whitney is not gonna let us go that easy. Well, at one point today, I was the highest person in the continental United States at 14,508 feet from the base camp that I'm at, at Crabtree. Uh, I hiked 15 miles today and had an elevation gain of uh, 3,800 feet. So my legs are tired. I'm gonna go back to the tent I hope my sticks made it. I hope my tent is still standing. Oh gosh, I forgot about that until just now. Well, it's the morning after Whitney and I was exhausted. I slept in. It's already eight o'clock and I'm just now getting up, moving slowly, gonna do some stretching and try and dry out my tent a little because with all the rain here it got kind of muddy and yeah we'll see how far I get I'm not looking to go too too far today I'm taking the time to sew my socks this morning <laughs> I just moved my tent into the sun so it could dry and here's what the ground sheet and my tent site looks like <laughs> mud city all right, now I'm trying to reconnect with the PCT trail because Mount Whitney was a side trip that was totally worth it. And just looking back on yesterday, wow. You know, it took a lot of motivation to get up that mountain and it's kind of like a meditative walk. I just had to keep envisioning in my mind that my legs were like the wheels of a locomotive and they just kept turning and turning and turning slowly over and over without stop. And that's, that's what got me up, you know, Mount Whitney. And I also want to thank the group of hikers uh, that I was with, Andrew from Kansas, Andrew and Erica from DC. You guys are awesome. Uh, it was really a pleasure hiking with you yesterday. And yeah, can't wait to, Meet you guys on trail again, and I'm gonna get make my way back to the PCT now. There's today's thunderstorm. 
I'm headed into Wallace Creek at a lower elevation so I'm not on the side of a mountain when the storm hits. And something that I've learned is that here in the Sierras, there's usually a rainstorm or a thunderstorm every afternoon. So we'll see what today's bring. Okay, I've made shelter under a tree and my ground tarp. There's definitely thunder and lightning happening. It's only about one o'clock in the afternoon. And just like that, the rain is gone, the sun is shining, and the river is flowing. You can see the storm just past my shoulder now. I can still hear the rumble of thunder, but it's in the next mountain range, which is fine by me. I've been thinking a lot about my Mount Whitney summit yesterday and what it could mean for me. And I think instead of trying to analyze it, I'm just gonna let it wash over me and work on me subconsciously. That feels right. So, yeah, it feels really good to have summited that mountain, still riding that high. Look at this, you come over one ridge crest and you get a view like this. If the high altitude doesn't take your breath away, the views sure will. Here's a good view of the other side of Whitney. It's that peak right there. That one. Look, I found the state of New Hampshire rock. It's kind of shaped just like it. Well, I hiked seven and a half miles today and made it to Tyndall Creek. I'm going to be falling asleep listening to the sound of rushing water, which is going to be really nice. And tomorrow I go over the famous Forester Pass, which is the highest point on the PCT. I am in my sleeping bag. I got my pack all ready for the night. And my tent is glowing from the sunset. It's eight o'clock, which is hiker midnight. So, good night.